Today, I will be unboxing the Wahoo RPM Speed and Cadence Monitor. I will show you how to connect this to your iPhone or iPad. On the Wahoo Speed, it's actually going to go near our spin cycle front wheel. And for the Cadence Monitor, it's going to go on the side of our pedal. I will show you how to set it up. So let's unbox this. This was also purchased off of Amazon in a bundle set. This way you can have the speed and the cadence all in the same bundle. I will also have a link in my description. So let's see what it comes with. You have a book that tells you how to set up your app, how to set up your pairing, and for your instructions, it has it connected to a mountain bike. In our case, we will be setting this up for our spin bike. Okay, so we have those instructions and then we have our, let's see what we have in this box here. We have zip ties, which is always great. And another zip tie. Instruction manual. And here we go. Our Wahoo Speed and our Cadence Bluetooth monitor, which is very good, exciting. And in our pack, this look like if we were connecting it to a mountain bike or off-road bike or on-road bike. Extra attachments, which is always a plus. So let's put this back in the side. And our next step is to connect this on the iPad or iPhone or if you have a Samsung you can download the Wahoo Fitness app set up your username and password and then we can go to the welcome screen and make sure that we can definitely use the pairing feature okay so let's connect this to our Bluetooth now there's the cadence and there's our speed this also has a 3m strip I'm sure this is going to be extremely useful Let's set it up. Okay, and now we're going to install our Wahoo app. Our first step is to go to the Apple Store, and as you see, the Wahoo app is called Wahoo Fitness. I have it installed already. You have to download it on your iPhone, iPad, or Android device. Let's open it up. So if this is your first time, you have to set up your email and password, agree to the Wahoo terms and policy, and then you hit the sign up button. And that's when it's gonna ask you for additional information and you will receive an email 
for your activation. So for me, let me go to log in, my password, my password, log in, and let's go to settings, or actually, let me show you how to reset this up, being that I had mine installed already. So once you go to set this up, if this is what you will see, how you access this screen is you can go to settings, you go to sensors, add new sensor, quickly pair a new sensor. And now you have to take the Wahoo speed, you can either shake it or move it around so this way you can see that flashing light. Now let's search again and now we have the flashing light and now we see a Wahoo speed is now searching so we're searching we move to the next screen and we are going to save the sensor we have the different options for running treadmill a cycle if you had to kick by Wahoo or exercise bike so we have ours for cycling of course hit done and it's connected so now we have to install our cadence so it's the same thing add new sensor quickly pair a sensor there's no flashing light as of yet so we move it around or shake it Still no flashing light. And now it's flashing. You might have to shake it or move it around. And then afterwards it'll start flashing. We have our cadence. Hit save the sensor. Hit done. And now we have our speed and our cadence and our cadence is our rpms which means is once you start to pedal you will see your cadence monitor so that means your rpms your motion as you're moving so we do have both and now we are ready to leave our settings and let's go to the workout screen. As you see, we have ours already set up for cycling. If we hit the drop down, you have other options. Hit done. We have our cadence in blue. Our speed at the moment is not found, only because the Wahoo is not in near it at the moment but that's no problem. As you see, it's connected and we can exit out of there on the main screen. We can start our workout anytime. Our next step is you can look at your history. And now once you have a workout history, you will have a multiple information all on this section. So we can go over to our profile. We have our profile and you have your power zone, which auto calculates, heart rate zone, which auto calculates as well. And then you have your settings, which will normally give you your speed and your cadence. So this is everything you need you also have your Wi-Fi, as you see on the top of the screen, it is on for your location. And now our next step is to install the Wahoo and the speed monitors on our Sunny Health cycle bike. Also as well, 
I will make another video on the heart rate monitor. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. So this way you can see this video as well. So what we're doing as of right now is we are going to turn our Sunny Health SFB into a smart bike. Stay tuned. Let's set it up on our Sunny Health smart bike. 